endless cellars, rolling hills bursting with ripe vines, and a heart in the midst of it all. And who are we with in the most romantic spot in Slovenia? Who? The sister. The sister. This is just getting sad. Very, really, very really sad. sad. We returned to Maribor, Slovenia to explore more of our roots and to take in some homegrown Slovenian wine. Our cousin Vesna and her husband Bojan knew just where to take us. About 30 minutes by car we reach a small picturesque town called Svecina, known for its many award-winning vineyards. Our stop, Dry Sibner. They have a long history of viticulture and winemaking producing excellent white wines such as Treminer, Chardonnay, Riesling and Yellow Muscat. Oh, seriously, look how beautiful this is! Should we go do some tasting, tasting yeah. perhaps? Where are they? They dumped us. I'm going to assume they're in one of those buildings. Wow. <laughs> 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 And here's the feast to go with the wine. Hey? <laughs> no, stop with the signora. We're Slovenia. We were honored to be served by the queen herself. Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Bravo. Andrea is the reigning queen, the queen of wine, that is, in Svecina. And then Vesna told us something very important about the 11th of November. So in Maribor, on this day, everybody drinks. Well, some more than others. Cheers to that. We heard about this very old cellar and we were very excited when Janko decided to show it to us. Janko! <laughs> oh! Oh, Toya cellar. Oh, very tall. Before we left, we took one last look at this gorgeous landscape, and then we took a ride and drove down to the river Drava. Beautiful swan behind me. Hiya. We found a quiet little coffee shop for a nice cup of cappuccino. Come, Boyan has a heart. <laughs> Marina has an express. The conversation quickly turned to wines, and we were getting ready for round two. Then we drove back to Maribor. So they're making this roasted chestnut the old fashioned way over a fire stove in the barrel. How cool is that? And we're going to go sample some. Yes, they're biodegradable. They're going on the floor. Just like I remember them. 
Oh, so good. Yum, yum, yum. Vinac Wine Cellar it runs all the way underground and it's one of the largest in Europe. There are about 2.5 kilometers of underground tunnels. <laughs> Our other cousin, Boyan, who used to work here and it's in the wine business, joined us for the tour. The barrels are of the same age. Vinac began way back in 1847 when Lord Alois Krihuber built it into one of the largest tunnels in Europe and it's located right under the city of Maribor. Treasure. Boyan told us stories of how he, my dad and his dad used to come down here drinking. There's only 80,000 liters of wine left in the archives. So these wines are just from here or from other places and stored here? And some bottles of red wine which is growing on the coast are still samples here, yeah. This is the archives, boosting one of the largest storage of archival wines, oldest being the Welsh Riesling from the 1946. <laughs> Oh yeah, tasting time. Decisions, decisions. Our delightful server kept pouring and pouring. Sweet, complex notes. Brilliant. Yeah, chin chin. Chin chin, boy and Marina. Chin chin. Yeah. And uh, Pinot Noir and Toya Zweigo. And this is the mouth that's going in. Back at the house and a couple of bottles later. <laughs> so bam. Ovea <laughs> Yuha. Courtesy of Master Chef Boyan. Cheers to a gorgeous day with our family as we explore more of our Marco Polo family ties.